All right, so we're going to be looking at firewalls here. First, we're going to download firewall D. So that's sudo pacman sy firewall D. Then we need to enable the firewall. Um, so that's sudo system ctl enable firewall D dot service. And you can see it's now enabled it creates the sim links uh, for the service even though it's enabled we still need to start it so this is sudo system ctl start firewall d.service Then I check to see if uh, Plasma Firewall is installed. I already have it installed, so I don't install anything here, but you can take a look too. It should already be installed if you installed the Plasma Desktop uh, through Arch install though, or if you installed the uh, Plasma Desktop package manually. And here I'm just gonna open up the firewalls, uh, firewall service for the GUI uh, from Firewall D. Uh, it comes by default, there's a GUI. Uh, you'll see it's not going to work here. Uh, we'll, we'll need to reboot uh, to get the services to function properly. All right, so after rebooting, you can see I've got the firewall D GUI back up here, and now it's asking for a password because it can actually find the service. So just enter your password, and then uh, you can access the service here. And now to enable the other GUI option, uh, Plasma Firewall, you just come into your settings through Plasma and locate the firewall. And then here you can see the firewall status is disabled currently. So you're gonna have to click this little button here uh, to enable the firewall. And then you'll have to enter a password and click yes a few times. Here you can see your currently set up services. Uh, so by default, the firewall is pretty open. Uh, so if you want to close any ports, you'll have to do that yourself. Just click add rule down here. You can see there's a default list of services here, but we want to go to advanced. And here we can set connections based on IP addresses and ports, whether we want to ignore, reject, or allow the port or IP through and through protocol interface, uh, you can set your logging. So pretty much anything you want to do here. Uh, you can set up your custom ports for blocking allowing. So for example, if I wanted to block SSH for some reason on port 22, uh, I could just enter it in like this. We enter in port 22. Then once you're done setting up uh, everything that you want for it to be blocked on, uh, you just click create. And now uh, port 22 is closed. Uh, so SSH, any other service, uh, won't be able to use port 22. You can remove arguments from this list of allows and blocks, ignores, rejects, uh, whatever you set it as, uh, by clicking the little garbage can here. Uh, and that will remove the arguments there are other ways to configure a firewall like that other uh, service I had shown you before. You can do it through the command line if you want. Uh, uh, so here's the default GUI that comes with Firewall D. But we're going to look at the connections through the Plasma Desktop Firewall instead. I'm not going to go too much in detail for the Firewall D uh, GUI. All right, and here you can see your currently functioning services, what ports they're using, uh, so you can choose to to close connections if you want to you can block them if that's what you want to do uh, which is what you do with a firewall anyway i have this black bar here because uh, you can see public ip and things like that uh, so that's all blocked off but anyway um, this is a good spot to find connections that you don't want active and close them um, a lot of these are just basic connections for me because I don't really have anything else running on here. Very few things. 
and it's up to you to do whatever you want with the firewall at this point it's installed you've got two GUIs to access it and use it plus you can use the command line if you'd like Remember other sources like the wiki for Arch and the Firewall D page are also pretty good sources for information. Um, and this is all I have uh, for this video. Uh, have a nice day. If you have any, other qu any questions, ask them below.